Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I gotta go ahead and talk about Miss Portia Williams and this continued drama with her baby daddy, Mr. Dennis McKinley, who I'm in love with. Okay, Portia, get it together, sis. Get it together. So y'all, remember when Portia went onto Instagram and basically uh, explained to the people that Dennis uh, made some accusations on an upcoming episode of Portia's Family Matters about her parenting and her motherhood and things of that nature, right? Well, um, remember when Portia was under the comments talking to Tamika D. Mallory and the rest of the girls, you know, saying that this may or may not air and this, that, and the third. Um, and she kept calling herself a single mother, okay? She kept screaming into the atmosphere, I am a single mom, I am a single mother, I'm a single parent, this, that, and the third, okay? Well, I told y'all just a couple of hours ago, okay, not even that, an hour or two ago, that, you know, Portia then it took to Instagram stories to basically give y'all the definition of a single mom, and technically, yes, Portia is a single mom, but she also was writing in the comments, I believe a fan uh, said, and I'm just, you know, I'm just, this is just off at the top of my head, okay? I don't have any notes, I don't have any receipts, but... Okay, the shit is facts. Um, one of the fans under the comments on her social media basically said, you know, how are you a single mom when you're engaged to a millionaire and you have a baby by a millionaire? And Portia responded with, I don't even know how much Dennis makes, but I doubt, you know, but I doubt that it's in the millions because what kind of millionaire does not pay child support and buys fake Rolexes? Now, um, this is where Dennis gets Mama Gina to uh, come into the chat and direct Portia now because she really is going the hell in. Okay, I was not expecting that. I don't know how um, I did not see this. But apparently she was up under her own comments talking about some, yeah, I don't even know how much the man make, but I doubt it's millions because millionaires pay child support. Now, my first uh, question is, number one, how do you know that... Uh, Dennis be buying fake Rolexes. Okay, that's number one. How did you get that information? Okay, we have another uh, Latoya and uh, Von Ray situation going on. Secondly, um, did you go to the courts to put Dennis on child support? Because I could have sworn that child support was like a court order. And I don't ever remember, you know, getting any news about any court proceedings involving Dennis being forced by the government to pay Portia child support. I don't ever recall that. Now, you do have some fathers that don't have to be put on child support and they just automatically give their baby mamas, uh, you know, stipends every month. You know, because they just, from the goodness, you know, the greatness of their heart, want to take care of the baby mama and the child as a man should. So I don't know if Portia is referring to the fact that Dennis just doesn't send her extra money. Okay, maybe he feels like, you know, Portia is a millionaire. She makes her own money. She's engaged to a millionaire. I don't need to send her nothing extra. Um, I don't know if that's what she means or if she's referring to the actual system. Okay, the court ordered system of child support. Like I'm kind of confused at the situation. So we need to do some more digging, but. It's the audacity for me, okay? It's the boldness for me. I don't know what Dennis said on this damn show that got, uh, you know, Portia so fired up, okay? I got crumbs all in my mouth. <laughs> I got crumbs all in my mouth because uh, I just uh, was eating chips. But what the hell did you say, Dennis, to make a Portia come for you like this, okay? Talking about you be buying fake Rolexes. Is that true? Do you really own all of these crew lounges and the hot dog factories and all of this other stuff? Um, and you're only taking care of uh, Pilar by picking her up on, you know, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and paying for the daycare. Is that all you're doing? Hmm. What is going on? So, you know, Porsche, I feel for you, sis, and I believe that your feelings are valid. But at the same time, I just feel like you're doing a lot. I just kind of feel like you're doing a lot. And when you add this situation to, you know, what I've been, uh, you know, seeing on the TV show, I just kind of feel like in a lot of these situations, I agree with Dennis the Menace. Okay. 
I don't doubt that Portia is an amazing mother. I don't doubt the fact that she does everything in her power to make sure that her baby girl is good. I don't doubt that. And I understand that sometimes when you are a primary caregiver to a little child, things can be very stressful. Okay, so she's probably feeling triggered in this moment. She's probably, you know, feeling a little bit stressed. Y'all know the woman was on a book tour. The whole world has gone against her because she got engaged to a married man back in the day earlier this year. Uh, people are criticizing her stories with her boyfriends and her exes and the football players and R. Kelly and things of that nature. And so she's probably a little bit perturbed at the situation at the current moment. However, in a lot of these situations that I'm looking at on the show, if I had to pick a side, pick a side, I'm choosing Dennis's side. I'm sorry, sis. I love you, Porsche. I love you. But I just, I don't know. Now, if he's questioning your motherhood and your parenthood, and if he's lying like his mama did on the TV show, then that's, uh, you know, then that's dead ass wrong, right? That is dead ass wrong. But I haven't seen it yet, so I just got to wait until the show airs. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. Now, before we log off very quickly, I did want to share with you guys that Chriselle Staus, I think that's the baby name, Chriselle, what's her name? Chriselle, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, pronounce her last name, Staus. Yeah, I said it right. Chriselle Staus and Jason Oppenheim have broken up just after five months of dating. Well, this is awkward. Okay, this is awkward. Remember I was telling y'all that Jason uh, was hooking up with Chriselle and they did not show it in season four. But of course, they gave us a preview for season five, which basically shows, you know, Chriselle and Jason uh, canoodling and kissing and things of that nature. Because we already knew that they've been together for a couple of months now, right? Um, and that's uh, all we really wanted to see on Selling Sunset. We want to see how this relationship is going to blossom. And so the fact that this relationship is semi new, okay, five months, that's new to me. And it's already over. Okay. You mean to tell me you dated your boss and it's already over after only five months is you mean to tell me that you made Christine Quinn. Okay. Who is the queen of the show? You made Christine Quinn your storyline for all of season four. You finally got your own storyline with Jason Oppenheim, who I could have sworn dated Mary, and you're supposed to be besties with Mary, so you're breaking the girl code, okay? But I don't see uh, people coming for her in the same way that they do to black girls like Portia Williams and the rest of them, okay? So that's a whole different conversation for a different day. But you finally got your own storyline because now you decided to date the boss, Mr. Jason uh, Oppenheim, and now you're broken up. Like that was really quick. And just to give you guys a little uh, context to the situation, Chriselle and Jason were both doing press for uh, Selling Sunset season four. And of course, the people were asking about their relationship. And I could have sworn that they both said that they were so madly in love. And y'all, that was nothing but just a couple of weeks ago. How do you go from madly in love to breaking up unless the relationship was toxic to begin with? All right. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that situation. How do y'all feel about Portia blasting her baby daddy all over Instagram? How do we feel about Chris Shell and Jason Oppenheim uh, breaking up? Like what the hell is going on? We got to talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and log off. I love you guys. And don't forget to create a great day.